Generating traffic and sales can be a challenge for online merchants. But selling on the Walmart marketplace puts your products in front of millions of customers who shop on walmart.com. And right now, sellers who join Walmart Marketplace can save up to 50% on referral and fulfillment fees for the first 90 days. So get started today. Head over to marketplace.walmart.com slash savings. That's marketplace.walmart.com slash savings. Welcome to E-Commerce Conversations, a weekly podcast focusing on e-commerce topics featuring interviews with prominent people in the e-commerce space. Today we're going to be talking about email marketing. I'm contributing editor Kevin Patrick Allen. It's become a given in this day and age that email marketing is a vital tool for a growing, prosperous company. And there's no bigger name in email marketing than Constant Contact. We're joined today by Eric Groves. He's the Senior Vice President of Global Market Development with Constant Contact. He's also the author of a new book, The Constant Contact Guide to Email Marketing. Thanks for joining us, Eric. Our listeners are primarily small e-commerce firms, and it wasn't so long ago that Constant Contact was a small business. I wonder if you can briefly share the company's history and how you've managed to grow so quickly. Well, I've been with Constant Contact now for almost nine years, and when I got here, we had 10 customers and about $100 a month in revenue. So, yeah, we know what it was like to be small, but... uh, Throughout the years, what we've really done is stayed focused on our mission to help small businesses build relationships with their customers that drive business success and repeat business um, by basically enabling them to communicate with their customers and bring them back time after time uh, through email marketing, uh, getting feedback from your customers through our survey product, and, and really a lot of education along the way on how to do it right so that you um, you shine when it, the mail hits your inbox and you get the response that you're looking for. You know, it's become conventional wisdom that an email list is a vital component of a business owner's success, as I mentioned earlier. Many business owners take pride in how large they get that list. Can you explain why the list is so important? Yeah, well, you know, it's really that, that um, device that you can really reach out and connect with your customers. And I think that it's really more important to have a quality list than a quantity list. Uh, you, know, you really want to be capturing the email addresses of people that want to get, to get your communications. Uh, and you know, some of the things and the techniques that are out there to collect email addresses, sort of kind of on the sly, you know, like a pre-checked sign-up box versus an unchecked sign-up, sign-up box, may result in your list getting very large, but is not going to result in a, you, know, you getting very uh, high quality um, in terms of a list that you're building. So, you know, it's really important to focus on that aspect. You know, email marketing at the end of the day is the most cost-effective way that you can reach out to your customers and bring them back. And at Constant Contact, what we do is we focus on helping you build a strategy that will make you successful in doing that. And, you know, one of the key pieces is making sure that you build that list correctly. You've written an entire book on the subject of email marketing, and I've got to ask you, some might interpret that, the fact that you wrote a book, to mean that it's a complicated topic, and as a result, it might be tough, it might be time-consuming to learn. Is that true? Not at all. Doing email marketing is actually very simple to do. Um, The reason that there's a book out there is really that what one wants to do is continue to get better and better at what you're sending and driving up your response rates. And, you know, like anything out there, the more that you learn about doing it well, the more impact that you're going to have when you deliver your messages. And um, it, there's a lot of tips and tricks about how you can get your emails not only delivered, but opened and read and engaged and forwarded on to others. And, you know, it's something you can grow with over time. And the book is really designed to kind of help map that path for you from beginner all the way through advanced user and get as much out of email marketing as you possibly can. Well, let's go through some of it. What are some of the most commonly broken rules of email marketing pitfalls that our our readers and our listeners should avoid at all costs? Sure. A couple of the big ones are sending to people that uh, aren't on your list. So, you know, a lot of people come to us and say, hey, can you just sell me a list or give me a list? Um, you, You have to make sure that when you're sending your email out to people that you can answer two questions in the affirmative. 
they know you and they care. If they don't know you and they don't care, then that's somebody you shouldn't be sending to. If they know you and they don't care, then you've got to work on your content. Um, but uh, other than that, um, you know, that's sort of the, the, the uh, things that you should be thinking about from the standpoint of who you're mailing to. Um, another tip uh, along the lines of how to create great content is to share information that demonstrates your knowledge and not information that's all about you. And we're running into a time when, of the year when, um, you know, last year big box retailers really uh, des- um, created a lot of um, uh, bad uh, impact on their brands by continuously increasing the discounts at which they were giving their customers between now and the end of the year. And what it did is it basically trained their customers to say, well, pff, I'm not going to buy anything now. I'm going to wait till December when it's 80% off. You're telling me it's 25, but I know it's going to 80. And e-commerce vendors really need to understand that you have to deliver your value in other ways, or you're going to try and, you know, you know, lose money on every sale and make it up in value uh, in volume, and that's not a great strategy for driving business success. You know, you mentioned that uh, it shouldn't all be about you, but how important is it that the emails be personal in some regard? Because we often hear that customers want to be able to relate and to interact with you. Uh, well, you know, when you send an email out through a system like Constant Contact, what you're doing is you're sending an email out to a lot of different people. But it comes out as an email that's going from you to that individual. So you can personalize it. So I can say, you know, dear Kevin, um, you know, based on the interest that you have, here's a couple of things that I thought you might want to be aware of. And I can create groups of different um, uh, interests within my master list so that I can target my customers with very specific communications and personalize them. You mentioned earlier that the list should be more about quality than quantity, but naturally if we could have both, the quantity and the quality, that would be ideal. So can you share with us what's the best way to grow that email list without being intrusive? Yeah, you bet. And, you know, you would like to have both, but you don't want to have quantity without quality, I guess, at the end of the day. And what you really need to do is line yourself up and think about all of the different places that you make a connection with your customers and make sure at each point of connection that you give them the opportunity to both see the value that you deliver in your email communications and have the opportunity to sign up for your list. So one of the things that we provide within Constant Contact is this um, ability to archive your past campaigns, which is nothing more than turning your campaigns into a web page. And we suggest that people actually put a link to that right by their sign-up box and, and give people the opportunity to see what they're going to get in advance of signing up. And that way, when you, you add people to your list, they know exactly what they're going to get and they're more likely to open it. So, you know, a couple of tricks along the way in terms of ways that you can make sure that you're building your quantity and your quality at the same time. We've seen in just the past couple of years how quickly the marketing world has changed. I mean, you have Twitter and Facebook. They played the most prominent roles. Do you envision a time in the approaching future when email marketing is not relevant, at least in its current form? Uh, You know, I think of all of those social media tools as great ways to reach out and capture an audience. And you really have to look at where your audience resides and where they go to collect information. Um, There are certainly some businesses where the lion's share of their clients um, may uh, come on to uh, Facebook and and, and be very active in Facebook. But for other audiences, you you may say, you know, join us on Facebook, and they don't even know what you're talking about. So the most important thing is to be getting constant feedback from your customers as to what they use as a conduit to get information. And that's one of the important things, you know, we said with our, why we created our survey application was to enable you to constantly be getting feedback from your customers so that you've got their pulse and you're using their pulse to make good marketing decisions, not reacting to what all the news and all the hype is out in the marketplace. Because if it's not relevant for your audience and you chase after it, then what you're doing is you're pulling all of your efforts right away from things that are working and sending them someplace that may not. So it's really important to understand where your customer's at and make sure you're delivering in every way that they would look for information from you, whether it's email marketing, Twitter, or Facebook. Eric, anything that I haven't touched on that you think the small e-commerce merchant, our listeners and readers, should know? 
uh, you know, I think just get in there, start building your list. It's amazing to me that you, know, you go and have a great experience at a restaurant or a retail store or an online store, and they don't ask you for your contact information. And, you know, Warren Buffett has a great quote that says, in the business world, the rear view mirror is always closer than the windshield. And uh, that's one of those things that you should really focus in on because that customer who's walking out the door is your most valuable asset, and you need to find a way to connect with them. The book is The Constant Contact Guide to Email Marketing, the author, Eric Groves. Eric, thanks for joining us. My pleasure, Kevin. Thanks for having me on air. You bet. Take care. That's all the time we have for this week's e-commerce conversation. I hope you enjoyed it. Please tune in next week for another new episode.